take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. The largest came from his grandmother Nanaline Duke, who was American Tobacco Company Chief James Buchanan, Buck, Duke's second wife. She gave the bulk of her $45 million fortune to her only grandson, Walker.10 July 2014. Let's help you make your mark. Before the war, Duke owned a moderate farm that included several slaves. He sold everything, including his slaves, before he went off to war. When he returned home, he and his two sons, Ben and James Buchanan, Buck, Duke, got the tobacco farm up and running. He was helped by a growing market, and his location point 24 June 2011. Take our lead. Business career. Duke's father, Washington, had owned a tobacco company that his sons James and Benjamin, 1855 to 1929, took over in the 1880s. His robber baron business tactics directly led to the Black Patch Tobacco Wars in 1906 to 1908. Let's help you make your mark. Walker Inman Jr., known as Skipper, was born into great wealth. His father came from a family of successful Atlanta cotton merchants, and his grandfather, James Buck Duke, was the president and founder of the American Tobacco Co. Maker of Lucky Strike Cigarettes. 18 August 2012. Let's help you make your mark. This wasn't some no-name clan of backwoods hillbillies. Georgia and Patterson Inman were among the wealthiest kids in America. When they turned 21, the family claims, the twins will inherit a trust fund worth $1 billion.12 August 2013. Take our lead. He also made his mark in the electric power and textile industries. As a successful businessman Duke shared his good fortune through generous philanthropy, most visibly in his endowment to Duke University in North Carolina.29 May 2018. Let's help you make your mark. Duke shared his good business fortune with the public through his generous philanthropy. In 1924, he established the Duke Endowment with $40 million. James Buchanan Duke pioneered the development of the U.S. tobacco industry and made significant contributions to philanthropy and business. He died in 1925.29 May 2018. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.